And now on to example number six of how to use integration by parts. Uh, here again you have to decide what you're going to call u and what you're going to call v. I'm going to call this uh, u because when I take the du then the x disappears and let's call this portion then dv. So u is equal to x and dv is equal to the quantity x plus 1 to the minus 3 halves power dx. So if we take the differential of u we get du and that would then be equal to dx. And if we integrate this, v, uh, we need to add 1 to the exponent, so we get x plus 1 to the minus 1 half power divided by the new exponent, and then plus a constant of integration. So we can then write this as, this is equal to um, divide by negative 1 half, the same as multiplying by negative 2 over x plus 1 to the 1 half power. All right, I'm not sure how we want to write that in there, so let's take a look. Um, this is going to be equal to u times v, our u is x, and our v is this quantity right there, so let's write it as a minus 2 over x plus 1 to the 1 half power. All right, minus v du, the integral of that, v. So the integral of that would be, hmm, let's see, how about if I write it as minus 2 times x plus 1 to the minus 1 half power, and du is dx. All right, that looks pretty good actually because I can move the minus 2 outside the integral sign and x plus 1 to the minus 1 half, I can simply integrate that because the differential what's inside the parentheses is simply dx, so I'm ready to go. So this can now be written as minus 2x over x plus 1 to the 1 half power, consolidate this a little bit. The minus times the minus becomes plus 2 times the integral of x plus 1 to the 1 half, or minus 1 half power dx. So when I integrate this, I get minus 2x over x plus 1 to the 1 half power plus 2 times. Okay, the integral of x plus 1 to the minus 1 half is x plus 1 to the minus 1 half plus 1, that becomes plus 1 half power, divided by the new exponent, which is 1 half, and then plus a constant of integration. And of course, when we divide by a fraction, the same as multiplying by its inverse, so that becomes 4. So we end up with, this is equal to minus 2 over x plus 1 to the 1 half power plus 4 times x plus 1 to the 1 half power plus c. I could take out, um, uh, it can be simplified, but just leave it like this algebraically. Uh, we're good at this point. The technique is what's most important, so we'll just leave it like that. And that's how you integrate one of those.